Dominican Republic for the final round of the Corrales Punta Cana Resort and Club Championship. Joel Damon, co-leader coming into the final round and he pours in a birdie putt to start the proceedings at one. He gets to 11 under. Emiliano Grillo had a fabulous 65 on Saturday, trying to move up the board. Second shot at the fourth and this one climbing onto the green and it just keeps working. The Argentine almost getting it to go in just a foot from the flag and he would tap in for Eagle to get to 11 under back to Damon looking for birdie at three and Damon starting to put it together looking for his first win on the PGA Tour 112th tour start and off the green at seven this is the par five his third and this one almost fell in for Eagle. He would tap it in for birdie to get to 14 under par. Graham McDowell winning here in 2019, trying for a late charge on the back nine. This at 11 from distance, and that one's in. McDowell over 30 feet from the cup, and he gets to 11 under par. Michael Gligick, 10 under, off the green at nine. Canadian with his third at the par three. What about that? Very nice shot. And able to get that one to drop. And so Glick making things happen. Rafael Campos, star from Puerto Rico, trying to get it to fall at the last and it would not drop. That would have meant a tie for the lead. Joel Damon at the top of the board. Campos coming up just short. And that in his 112th tour start. Joel Damon finally finds the winner's circle and he does it at Punta Cana and an exciting celebration ahead. It's really hard to win golf tournaments. Uh, I knew it was hard, but I can't believe how hard it actually is. Uh, I was I, I was in control. I felt like I felt like I was doing my body was just doing other things. Uh, thankfully, I had a couple get up and downs there on uh, 16 and 17 and I don't know how I tapped in that, that two or three footer there, but thankfully it went in. But you looked calm all day. You relaxed, warming up, you, walking around the golf course. You looked like it was a casual Sunday. You got off to a great start. Talk about the beginning of your round. Yeah, uh, I have not played the front nine that well this week. And uh, to make like a 40 ish footer on one was a dream. Um, just missed on two and then a birdie three and four and just missed again on five. I was like, whoa, this is felt total control. Uh, and then all of a sudden I kind of hit an un uncommitted shot on 11 and things started to go really quickly. Uh, I felt fine inside, but it was everything was happening pretty quick out there. Quite a celebration, obviously, right oh. here at Greenside. But I saw one of your fellow competitors out there in the uh, back nine following you around and as well as some other guys. And you and Rafa seem to have a great uh, going yeah. back and forth, great uh, camaraderie out there. Talk a little bit about Rafa's that. Rafa's awesome. I was really happy when he made that putt on 18 yesterday to get in the final pairing. We, we've been friends for a while. Um, you know, this is kind of his second home here. So I knew he was going to have some good crowds uh, rooting for him. Uh, but it was fine. He's, he's a great guy. Uh, he's a hell of a, hell of a player. Uh, and uh, I, don't, I don't know how I'm here. It's crazy. Well, there's a lot of perks that goes with being a champion. <laughs> Have you even let that set in yet? Have you thought about it? Of course, no, you know about it, uh, all the great things. You know, you think about it when you lay it, you know, at, at bed at night. You think about it maybe in the morning. But out there, I, I was really shockingly, I was, I was thought, you know, I was, I was in control or so I thought. Um, hadn't let us in. And it's been a rough uh, start to the calendar year. Golf was really hard for me these last seven, eight weeks. Um, and to turn it around, uh, whatever, seven of eight missed cuts. To, to this is uh, it's pretty incredible. I owe, I, owe, I owe a lot to a lot of people. Uh, my dad, obviously, is the best. Um, Rob Rochelle back home, my, my coach, he's been awesome. Uh, so uh, this is for you guys. Hopefully back home in Lewis and Clarkston, your party and Mesa Country Club boys, open up the tab. I'll be home next week. And uh, this is unbelievable. Well, you'll have the cash to pay for it. Congratulations. And hopefully another win soon. Let's do it. This is awesome. <laughs>